Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Tune in to check out this video. This is an update of the flat nest that I relocated from um, a customer's house about an hour away from my place. This is about, I think this is the second day after I brought it back after I actually attached it to the underside of this uh, where the spout nest used to be. Right side by side with another bull faced hornet nest that I relocated. So the workers from the left nest vacated and came over to the nest on the right, which only had a queen on it and no workers. They adopted the queen, the queen adopted them, and they just started building on this nest. So this is day three, and the paper starts building more and more progressively on, on the comb. There's a good amount of workers here. So this is actually now a mixed bag of workers that hatched from that particular nest and the workers from the nest on the left. And this is day four significantly building that paper on and there's actually two entry points so there's an entry point down there at the bottom and there's actually an entry point on the left side where they would go up and crawl up into the top coat and they're still building on the left nest too so it's they're actually there's workers going to both nests I don't know if they're sharing if they're bouncing back and forth or like if certain workers go to certain nest obviously I don't have markers on each one of them to know but there would definitely have to be two different families of workers in each nest. So the nest on the right, as those workers are hatching, they're co-mingling with the workers from the left nest that had bunked over to that side. So just as I was hoping they would do, they built envelope up on top that attached to the underside of the wood and building downward, and you can see the gap in between the nests is getting a lot smaller. So they're building out towards one another on both nests. So you can see there's workers on the left nest going inside the hole, laying paper, on guard. And then of course there's a lot of busyness, a lot of activity on the right nest. Along with someone flying into the microphone. But there's a lot of envelope being built on the bottom of that on the bottom of that piece of plywood. So I'm really hoping that would happen because the hot glue is just hoping it wouldn't give way. Now look at the colors on this. There's a lot of really neat dark lines in this. I don't know where they're getting that wood from. And now that there's envelope being built between the two nests, which is super awesome. There's a lot of fanning going on down at the entrance way. There's four four adult or yeah, four adults there fanning the entrance and then one guard on the inside. What I really want to do is scope this nest so I can see what goes on inside of there but there's a lot of workers in there and I would hate for them to come out at me. Not so much that I'd be get stung, but I'd also be afraid that they would just get lost because it would be dark when I'd do it. Just building and building, adding more layers of envelope on the outside. Now that's really good for um, like thermal regulation to keep the heat down. So these, some of these days were super hot. And it was Everybody. just like they didn't really have as much protection from the heat. So that's why I put the pizza box on top of that wood. So it kind of acts like an insulator from the sun because the sun just like beats in this area. Tissue. Look at all that envelope in between there. Active paper there. Just adding layer upon layer. Look at all those lines. Each one of those lines represents one oh, wasp going and foraging for for wood pulp and then coming back and laying it on the nest. So each one of those lines took one wasp to go out and, f and chew on wood for however long and then come back and build parts of the nest. So you think about how many layers of envelope there are and one line at a time, just like that one's doing there. It's just incredible to me that they, that they can do that. So this one I relocated when it was just a flat comb and now it's uh, turning into a quite a colony of two or two different nests so it's definitely taking that typical bald-faced hornet shape conical shape at the bottom this nest is doing freaking amazing both nests, really. Every day I would walk out and there'd just be like an exponential amount of paper. Look at the look at the bridge between the two. So they're completely connected now. Sorry, it's gonna be a little shaky. I don't have my stand. We're joining both nests together. It's 
freaking awesome. This is like really encouraged me to get a third nest and put up there. <laughs> and yes, that is a pizza box up there. I love the shape of this nest. Freaking awesome. What's going to be even more cool is at the end of this season that I'll be able to just take that piece of plywood off of there and I'll have this nest just mounted to a piece of wood. That's going to be so freaking cool. But I'm not wishing the summer away because I also don't want them to die So I'm excited watching them grow. I mean, just look at like how solid this nest looks. So just a little, so just a little update for the chickens. This is when they were babies, so you guys can see what the girls look like. And my pet rat that was just living in the bottom of the barn. Her name is Lucy, and then you see there's five chickens. So initially there were two roosters, Mary and Turkey, and then of course the three girls, Pigeon, Ginger, and Angel. This is most current. I should be posting this today, August 4th, I think. Is that what today is? Chickens meet rat. Here he comes, you see? The chickens want to have nothing to do with Rushi. Hey, good girl, Lucy. Here she comes. Hello Lucy. Hello Lucy girl. Say hello to everyone. Hello Lucy. Give me a kiss. Mm. chicken feed. Night night ladies. Don't be afraid of the rat. Come here ginger. Come here ginger. That's a good girl. Hello ginger. Hello ginger. You're a pretty girl. You're a pretty ginger. Prettiest girl out of all of them. Lucy. Don't be afraid of Lucy. Hey Ginger. Back down with the girls. Hi Mary. Hi Mary. There's Pigeon. There's Angel. And Turkey. Are you going to bed? Hey, night, Angel. Hey, night. Just want to tell you girls, you guys are famous. 
people are coming to my channel just to watch you guys. Some of them. Some of them come for the hornets. Especially you. You've gotten a lot of attention, girlfriend. You shouldn't be so shy for the camera. A lot of your uh, viewers want to see you. And you too, Angel. You're my girl. Alright, these are the eggs. The turkey. Pigeon lays the green eggs, and Ginger lays the brown eggs, and Angel, go figure, lays white eggs. Yes, I know it's bedtime. I know it's bedtime. Hi, Ginger. Hey, Pigeon. Hey, Pigeon. You're some pretty girls. No wonder everybody loves you. I've always loved you, just so you remember that. Now that you guys are famous, just remember I'm the first one to love you. Yeah. You know it. Alright, girls. Nighty night, I know it's bedtime. Ginger. There's no way you Yeah, but there's no way you're here by yourself. Where are the other two? I can't believe you left her behind. Come on. Chip, 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 chip. Where everybody went? They're right behind me. Where's Angel? Angel. People want to see you guys tear up these nests. Job, figures. I'm not taking your food. I'm taking up the glass. Don't you get rupid. Stop it. Don't get rupid. You kind of figure you know it was bad? Yeah. <laughs> Did they end up letting you though? What? Did they end up letting you? Yeah, they did. Oh, that's cool. Yesterday with the chickens too. <laughs> like, oh my god, 
there's chickens! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, still, those are chickens. Yeah, I'll tell you what, people like, I have a YouTube channel and people love seeing these chickens in the YouTube channel, which is silly because I do wasp nest removals, but people come just to watch my removal so they can see the chickens. Yeah. It's like, wow, I guess they're kind of famous. <laughs> good morning. Hi, good morning, how are you? All right, how are you? <laughs> good, I hear you went for a long bike ride and we did. some Amish to check out the cow. So people always ask why I don't let the chickens just peck and destroy the nests and this is why because as you see there is just carnage all over the place and there's still larvae inside I mean there's some there's definitely they've definitely plucked out a lot of larvae but there's still larvae inside a lot of these nests and like that one and there's larvae all over the ground so they do miss quite a bit They did miss quite a bit, and so now this stuff will just sit here and rot, and flies will be drawn to it and everything. So that's usually why I like to have the larva plucked out. Well, there's ants taking away a lot of the larva too, so that's good. And there's still some newly hatched adults that didn't get eaten, but... Oh, tigers! Hi, tigers! Hi, tigers! This ant's gonna try to drag that dead adult away. That is wild. That thing's like ten times her size. I'm not much of an ant person, but that's pretty freaking cool. You just love fest. Getting their morning rest in, I guess. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching this video. If you guys have any suggestions for future videos, please drop in the comments. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. If you guys have subscribed already and you've been coming back, I really appreciate you guys' support my channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.